Let's look at OpenStax College Physics Chapter 22, Problem 7. What is the maximum magnitude of the force on an aluminum rod with a 0.1 microcoulomb charge that you pass between the poles of a 1.5 Tesla permanent magnet at a speed of 5 um, meters per second? In what direction is the force? Let's write down our knowns and unknowns. So we know that the charge is 0 0.1 microcoulombs. We know that the magnetic field is 1.5 Tesla, and the speed is 5 meters per second. And what we're looking for is the magnitude of the maximum force. So we want F max. And then in the next part, we're looking for the direction of the force. All right, so uh, we can draw a diagram, um, but we don't quite know how. And the reason is because we're not being told the direction of the magnetic field. We're not being told the direction of the velocity of the charge. So I'm going to skip that for now. Um, I will try to get some inspiration from the equation for the magnetic force. So it's QVB sine theta and I'm being asked to find the maximum force well how do I figure out the maximum force from this well the trigonometric function here has limits uh, 1 and minus 1 so the highest the sine can go is 1 so if I set the sine equal to 1 I get the maximum force so sine theta equals 1 gives me f max. All right, so then the force, the magnitude of the force is QVB, and that is 0 0.1 microcoulombs times 5 meters per second. So I have to convert the microcoulombs into coulombs um, times magnetic field, which is 1.5 Tesla. So I end up with 0 0.75 micronewtons. All right, so let's see what we did here. In order to find the maximum force, we set the trig function equal to 1. That is a common trick that we do in physics. So when I set sine theta equals to 1, I get the maximum force. But what does sine theta equal to 1 uh, translate to? That means that theta is 90 degrees. So if I were to draw my diagram now, so I'm drawing a magnetic field into the page here. So this is magnetic field into the page. Um, and I draw my positive charge, then... I know that the angle that the velocity makes with the magnetic field is 90 degrees. So I have to draw a velocity that is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So if I do it like this, then to find the um, direction of the force, I will have to place my hand parallel to the velocity so my hand is going to be in this direction. My fingers are going to point in that direction. Then I'll have to bend my fingers into the paper, into the board here. And when that happens, my thumb sticks out this way. So this gives me the direction of the force. Now, of course, there, were, there would be so many other ways of drawing the magnetic field and the velocity. So what we need to answer for this question, in what direction is the force, the only answer that rings true for all of these situations is the force is perpendicular to both the velocity and the magnetic field. So F is perpendicular to the velocity and F is perpendicular to the magnetic field, always. So this is then the answer to the second question.